Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tales of Sophonia. Last episode we have came here to the human ranch and met Boda and a new person named by by the name of Kavar. Anyways, this episode we are going to continue through the human ranch and see what's the end of Line Falls. Anyways, before we do that, let's take out some designs, shall we? And let's say we got four here. I don't know by what, I don't know who by whom. But we're here, that's all that matters. And also we got Sheena from um, last episode. She, now she's in our party, which is amazing because Sheena is one of my favorite characters. That was pretty good fight, I guess. Anyways, we got the same point here, so we can save anytime we want to. Let's just take down... I was going to say, let's take down the Zoraids of Designs. Wow, that fight was four seconds. That was pretty darn fast. Uh, nothing here, let's say. Ooh, we got Memory Gem. Okay, that's... Good, I don't think there's a... I don't think we can use that in this area because we already got a save point up. Uh, if I'm right... Yeah, we gotta keep going forward. What... What is this? Where the X spheres are removed from the host bodies. Do you mean that X spheres are made from human bodies? Not exactly. X spheres are dormant at first. They extract nourishment from humans to grow and awaken. Human ranches are X sphere manufacturing plants. Why else would we spend our time raising and taking care of these inferior beings? That's terrible! Terrible? Terrible is what you've done. Stealing and using x spheres that we've invested so much time and care in creating. You deserve to be punished. Damn, we're surrounded! Lloyd, your x sphere was to be an offering to Lord Eugdrasio. It's time you gave it back. Eugdrasio. I suppose that's the name of your leader. Yes. Now, for the sake of our great leader, Lord Eugdrasio. And for the sake of my own success, I need that X-Sphere! Again? Well, what's so special about my X-Sphere? That is the result of years of time-consuming research. I can finally reclaim what was stolen by that filthy female host body. What are you talking about? The female host body? You're not talking about... Hmm... You don't know anything, do you? That X-Sphere was cultured on host body A012 human name, Anna. Your mother. She took it and escaped from the facility. Of course, she paid for her crime with her life. You killed my... Now, now, don't blame me. I'm not the one that killed Anna. Your father did. Liar! Please. When her key crestless x was removed, Anna turned into a monster. And your father killed her. Pathetic, don't you think? Do not speak ill of the dead. <laughs> Who cares? They were both just a couple of filthy humans. Worthless maggots. Don't you ever talk about my parents like that? I'll handle this. I'm gonna use the last one, Grandpa. Sir? Let them go. We can find them anytime by following the chosen signature trail. Right now, the more pertinent task is retrieving the X Spheres. Find the Renegades. Thank you, Sheena. Don't mention it. But what are you going to do now? Let's return to Lewin first. I concur. Okay. Hmm, Lewin. 
Okay, so that's how you pronounce the name of town, but that was kind of interesting cutscene, I guess. Anyways, the only thing we can do right now is return city because we got nowhere else to go. So let's let's ride on Norge and head straight to Luna, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say, so let's just get to town and rest there, I guess. I can't believe X spheres are made from human lives. This is Marble's life. Ah, this thing. Lloyd, wait. What will you accomplish by taking that off? It's not just an X sphere. It's also your mother's life, remember? But these things make a mockery of human life. But we would have lost long ago had we not had them. Don't you think I know that? Do you really? If you throw away that x fear now, do you think you can finish this journey? Yeah, I know. Without these things, we're just a bunch of weak humans. We can fight because we have these, I know that. But x fears exist as a result of taking someone's life. And? Those people didn't become victims because they wanted to. But I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into x fears My opinion may not matter much because I don't use an x sphere But I believe the designs will defeat us if we throw away our x fears now. And if that happens, more people will lose their lives to these stones. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this journey to be meaningless. Colette's right. We can throw away the x spheres at any time, but right now, we must carry the weight of the hopes and dreams of those victims and fight for their sake. Uh, didn't you say you weren't going to hesitate anymore? Yeah. I hate to say it, but you're right. Mom's regrets and wishes dwell in this thing. To prevent creating more victims like Marble and my mom, I'm going to help Colette. I will fight for both myself and my mom who lives on within me. Yeah, me too. I'm going to fight on Marble's behalf as well. Me too. I'm going to regenerate the world as quickly as I can. People are sinful creatures. Life survives at the cost of another. Then we must continue to bear the burden of our sins for as long as we continue to live. Life survives at the cost of another? I don't really know how to say this, but I don't think there's a way to justify the lives sacrificed to make X spheres. They have to be stopped at all costs. Hmm, once again, that's another interesting cutscene. Anyways, Tragedy in Loon. But for right now, we have no way of getting back into... <laughs> Never mind. But what are we going to do now? Well, we'll undoubtedly increase the security now. We won't be able to get it easily. There was someone who res who escaped from ranch. He may know we in. I know him. His name is Partol. He, he should still be in Haima. Uh, why do you know him? It, it doesn't matter, does it? I have my reasons. Hmm, well, whatever. Okay, let's go to Haima. So, now we can journey to Haima, which was a place I was trying to get to before, but I decided to... You know what? We, we, we come back here later. So, anyways, um, uh, see the mountain top? That's pretty much where that place is. Ooh, new enemy! Cook a dodo! Haha! <laughs> uh, that's not an actual name, but <laughs> I, I kinda like to think of it. God damn, I still don't have vengeance! 
Uh, I'll grab Mage Lens once I get to the next town, which will be, um, which will be undoubtedly Haima. Haima, Haima, Haima. It's only weak to win? Huh, okay. It, it doesn't look like be weak to win, I guess. Really, Rain? Really, Rain? Kratos is poisoned, and you decide to first aid him. Really? I think using recovery would do so much better. Just saying. Anyways, let's go ahead and use that recovery on Kratos. And as you see, she's getting, she's going to get a new art soon called Nurse. And oh my god, is Nurse super helpful. It's like I knew that enemy was coming. I just didn't say stop. Anyways. Uh, where did you come to? Um, Icelia. Uh, I must forget how to say. I was hired by Rich in the fear who is who to escort a privilege. I was near Icelia, so I decided to stop by there to look for a new job. And there you saw the article. You, sh you should thank me. If I had not come, you would have died. You're so, you're so concerning. But well, 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 ma well, what makes it worse is that it's true. <laughs> I hate when you do that. It's pulverizing. I guess you, I guess your dislike for me runs quite deep. Whatever. I, I I do love the <laughs> love conversation between those two most of the time. Truth about S fears. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's a little true, I guess. Anyways, have you seen map? We are close to town because uh, I decided to keep the spots where the towns are for the map for the new game plus. Anyways, welcome to Haima. The Village of Adventures. Now this is an interesting little place. Ooh, we got doggy. Ah, uh, let's start to call. Let's get call out. Bark, bark. Ooh, boo. She's so cute. Boo. Huh. <laughs> what like boo from um from um monsters in monsters Inc. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna hi my. Uh... Well, we call it village, but really it's just an inn. Yeah, pretty much. That's all that there is. It's just an inn. Anyway, so we taught this guy. We can either um, buy value goods from him, which is nice. I'll do this probably off screen, I guess. Since there's a lot of things here I can buy. And you, we can also customize with this guy. Which is nice. Um. Ooh, we need a reap a riper. Wait, don't we have one? No, we don't. Huh? Oh, Luna! It had one, but it got destroyed. Cause we were too late. We fucked up. Anyways, let's go ahead and explore around this place. I guess for a little bit. I got our cats here. Uh, uh, these are the grave of people who escaped from the human ranch. Uh, those who escape from the ranch are f are affected by a curse and eventually die. How long is this going to go on? I see it's oh. At first, I thought I I saw two graves, but I didn't see this one over here. That's kind of sad. Anyways, we got another doggy, so let's go ahead and get collect. And... Wine! 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 This one is Rocky! 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 
Rocky? Yes, the dog is named Rocky from now on. I feel like a lot of these dogs have names already. And most of them are not straight dogs, and yet Claire is just randomly naming them. It's kind of funny. Oh, sorry. Wow, you can see Tower of Salvation really well from here. Man, how far does the Tower of Salvation go? Excuse me, come through. Pardon me for just a moment. Uh, a bit. Hmm, this side is wide enough. Good, good. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm thinking of setting up a new business here. It's gonna be called Dragon Tours. Dragon tours? You take a tour here just to watch the dragons that fly by? Ooh, close. That's a good guess, kid. I'm sorry, but it's here where you ride on a dragon and see the Tower of Salvation up close. You can go to the Tower of Salvation? No, 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 no. They just fly around it. But still, it'll be the experience of a lifetime. Ah, that's so cool. So, where are dragons? I'll bring them next time. Look forward to it until then. Bye. No one's going to wait around for your dragons. Hey, mister, I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually pretty funny. Anyways, now let's go to that lit inn because there is something waiting for us in there. Dun, dun. I do like this place. This is one of my favorite places. Oh, right. Uh, if we talk to this guy, uh, if I'm right, uh, I brought too much food. I can't possibly return Luna. So we can't go with this guy. Uh, we can't go with this guy back to Luna, so it'll be a little shortcut. And he will take us back here from Loon um, for a next shortcut as well, so we don't have to waste our time walking around. Uh, greens, welcome to Echoes. Uh, one room? No, not right now. We want out this lady. Sheena! Has Pato's. Um, Pato, he passed away. D did you s Did he say anything, something about the human ranch, perhaps? I, I don't know. I don't even know if he really escaped from there. What about his belongings? He didn't have any. Where is his grave? At the back of the adventurer's graveyard. I don't think about digging up his grave, please. Sorry, lady. <laughs> We're going to dig up it. We got to dig up his grave anyways, because we got to do, we got to take care of something. I suppose they go grave it's out of the uh, out of the question. Anyways, let's pray. <laughs> why is why is Lord forgive? Hmm? Hello? And you are ch chosen mana. Die. What's he saying? Pato, I thought you were dead. Here you are. Chosen. Die. Angel. Die. Human. Ranch. Underground. You mustn't come out here. Let's go. You lied to us. He's the one that escaped from the ranch. Really? Please tell me, how did you get he away from the ranch? Big, or, or, boulder, big, underground, jewel, boulder, move, chosen. What are you saying? Is that the escape route? Please, let him be. Now listen, you may be happy just protecting Pato, but because of this guy, countless people from Luna Loon are dead. 
How about helping us just a bit? I'm sure Pato has many things he wants to say as well, but because of course he's been turned into this. But he's still alive. The dead can't really tell us that they were scared. Please help us. Uh, we want to go to ranch if it's possible to get out. It's possible to get back in, right? Please. I'm willing to help you when Shane lift his curse. The healing technique uh, left behind uh, Bliss Man is in the Tower of Mana. That may be able to cure his, cur cure his curse. Alright, but if training the base comes first, that I won't um, recrunch. When he escaped from the ranch, he said he came out through the front yard and he blocked the exit with a boulder. His things are in the grave. Take them with you. Thank you. We'll come back when we when we um acquire the healing technique. Um, come, let's go. Was there a boulder there? I do recall something that seemed unnatural. Yeah, let's go check out. Yeah. But yes, there was a boulder there. Anyways, we got design orb. So now we can go back to the human ranch again to move that boulder. Anyways, Trotto's angry? Oh, <laughs> I, I just love it how that as soon as Kratto shout that he's not angry, it's just like, silence. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I thought there was something going to be here. There will be something later, there later on. Anyways, I guess right now the only thing we can do is go back to the human range. But we will do that next episode, yay! <laughs> Alright, in that sense, uh, so we will go back to Human Ranch, actually intro again, and hopefully, um, see what there is for us. In I'll see you guys next time for that. Bye!